Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So right now I'm doing some dungeoneering and you might be wondering why. So there is a trim requirement to do every single hard mode floor in dungeoneering and that is 60 floors so it does take a considerable amount of time and the difference between hard mode and regular mode or whatever, every single room that you go into is a guardian door regardless if it's a puzzle or something like that. So um, you don't have to do every single room to get the requirement done. So I just hardcore the critical path and try to finish as, as fast as possible. And most of my floors are anywhere from eight minutes to 12 minutes or something like that, depending on the boss. So I've been doing this like requirement for almost a year now. That sounds really stupid because you don't have to do 60. I did it every now and then. I really didn't, didn't go hardcore on it. And that's why it took so freaking long. But I just decided to finish it today because I was so close. And now I'm finished with that requirement. One step closer to trim. Obviously, I still have all of that uh, Castle Wars left, so it's not like I'm anywhere close. But it's still nice to get another requirement out of the way for whenever I do end up going for trim. So with this, I'm also going to be changing my plans for my dailies and stuff. I will be doing dunge every single day, and I will try to actually do it instead of uh, slacking off like I did this past year about this requirement. But now I don't have to do hard mode for the daily and I can just do a small C6, rush through it, don't even have to do all the doors and that'll take like two, three minutes per floor. Just do that for five minutes per day and then when you turn it in, when you extended your challenge and you're also 120 Dungeoneering, you get 350k uh, Dungeoneering experience as a reward um, on top of your actual experience that you got from the floors. So with that, I'm gonna get like 400k per day if I keep at it and I'm roughly 80 million away from 200 mil so I will be doing this um, hopefully every single day for the next 200 days or whatever. And that'll bring me to probably my first 200 mil. Um, it'd be nice just to get Dungeoneering out of the way so I never have to go back here ever again. And that 80 million will be awesome on my total experience as well. So as for other trim requirements that I should be working on um, or I am working on, right now I'm not really working on anything because I'm really focusing on bossing and stuff like that at this point. But I should... Um, start doing my golden statue a little more. I did finish the regular strange rock statue months and months ago um, And I was gonna do the golden one right when it came out and I only did about 10 statues on the gold So I still have 22 left, but the thing with the gold is you don't have to wait weekly to do it You could do you know five per day if you wanted to um, But that that's a lot of work and I maybe one day I'll sit down and just hardcore it but it feels like you're not getting anything done because I'm so far away from trim regardless if I get that done or not that I don't really have all that motivation to sit down and do it. Um, in the future I might uh, hardcore trim and maybe I'll even AFK Castle Wars a lot and get that done slowly. Alright after all that dungeoneering stuff here we are at Vic the Trader. I know that it came out kind of a while ago like earlier this week but uh, I just never got around to doing it. And uh, if you guys don't know what he does, um, you can trade in your bonus experience like on various skills and get points or credits they call them. And then you can buy rewards, uh, be it like skill outfits, which I have all of them, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, you can buy like the other skill outfits that are um, like the mining one and the rune crafting one. You can buy cosmetic stuff and proteins and all that kind of stuff. And you can also buy experience as well. So you can basically trade in your bonus experience to get more bonus experience in a different skill. Um, obviously you're gonna lose some of that bonus experience. I don't know the rate, but you don't get, like if you put in two million, you're not gonna get two million back. Um, at least last year it was about half. I don't know what it is now, but I will definitely test it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything into farming. Um, that might seem like a stupid skill to put it in because it's already 120, but I do wanna get 200 mil in it eventually and uh, anything can help because it's a, such a long skill, might as well speed it up. Oh, hey, Duchess. But anyways, I'm gonna trade in um, pretty much everything. So I have like 130K attack, 400K mining, holy shit, um, 80K cooking, 200K rune crafting, all this kind of stuff. Anything else that's kind of cool. Let's see. Um, wow, I have two, 300K fletching that I'll probably never use. So um, definitely getting rid of that. Um, I don't know about the wood cutting. I do want to get 120 wood cutting, so I might not take the 100K from that, but Let's just take everything out. All right, so I basically traded in all of my bonus experience, including the woodcutting. I decided eh, it's worth it to uh, spend all of it. So now I have 1,300 credits, which if I wanted to, I could get um, two and a half of these golems or whatever. And if I really wanted to get a full suit of this, which I really don't, I know it's really good, but I'd rather get farming experience. I could buy keys or something, or anyone could buy keys and get bonus experience and various skills and just keep on trading. 
So uh, sadly, there's no like spring cleaner in here. Um, that would have been kind of cool, but I, I already have it, so I don't really worry about it. But uh, I know a lot of people do want that. So the most economical thing I could do is most likely the huge prismatic star. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'm gonna buy as many as I can. Um, last year, I know that I got about 900k farming um, from everything, so that was pretty good. That you know, that's only a few days if you farm efficiently and stuff, but still, I, that is. A pretty good chunk of experience that I didn't have to worry about so it looks like I got like half an inventory of these huge prismatic stars so yeah here we go so I got 1.2 million that's actually pretty good because I did check I had about 2.2 million bonus beforehand so I did lose a million experience the thing is like my main goal is not those skills yet like fletching I would not use that 300k bonus anytime soon um, I'd rather put it into farming where I really want it. So yeah, if you want to get bonus experience in a different skill than uh, what you have it in already, Vic is a good way of doing it. Just know that you do lose a little bit. And if you do want to get those other skill outfits or the cosmetics, definitely go to Vic to Trader. But yeah, so I'm just going to be doing my Dungeoneering dailies. I will continue my farming and of course try to, you know, get higher on my account. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.